all the books. It, it, it's time for book reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system, created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to book review 159 of this vlog. In this video I'm going to review the short stories called Acceptable Losses and Raptor Down, both written by Gav Forb. They were first published in Inferno issue number 9 and then in the out of production anthologies Word of Blood and Let the Galaxy Burn. Then they were released as a part of the On Wings of Blood Aeronautica Imperialis anthology. Let's see what this anthology is all about. In the worn torn galaxy of the 41st millennium, battle for the blood soaked skies is fierce and deadly. Brutal space marine gunships and Imperial Navy fighters duel against flying horrors, alien interceptors and chaos craft of every hellish design. For the supremacy of the air is as vital an object as any battlefield. Delivering high octane action from start to finish, this collection of aeronautical short fiction features stories of a death defying pilots and devastating far future aircraft by authors including Gav Forp, James Swallow, Andy Shamers, Kevin Scott and many more. We can begin with acceptable losses. It doesn't have a proper front cover of its own, but uh, I will have some internal art from Inferno that I can talk about while I review this short story. Jaeger's new Marauder Squadron are more than a little rough and ready, but with an immense Orc Space Hulk bearing down on the Imperial forces there's an ideal chance for them to prove their real mettle. It opens up with the arrival of Flight Commander Jax Jaeger who has come to take command over the Raptor Squadron. He observes quite directly that they are in, in need of discipline so he takes a hard stance right away to establish respect and order. So the other main characters are the Bombardier, Darmas Barhunt, the slightly scared tech adept Galt Ferix, the old veteran Gunner First Class Maxen March or Marte, Gunner's Second Class Varon Sail and Shalin Eirik. The illustrations show us more or less that how they look like and I must say I do like the details of these characters. Now I got a proper sense of how they look like. They are assigned to the Imperial Cruiser Divine Justice operating out of Bacca Imperial Navy Base as a part of the battle fleet Tempestus. After the briefing Marte walks up to him and asks why he was assigned to them as their squadron usually gets the worst missions and had the highest casualty rate the last few flights. And that is what got their useless former commander killed. There seems to be a favoritism with the rival devil squad, so Jaeger intends to boost up their morale. Eight weeks later during the routine patrol they come across an orc space hulk. On the eve of the attack, Jaeger begins to tell a tale that stands as a metaphor for the whole Horus heresy. Meaning that even through, though the population doesn't know the whole truth, it still lives on in some ways. The bomber's objective is to bomb out the engines so that the cruiser can shoot it at it from a distance with having little ways of moving itself. However, as the orcs' smaller ships engage the support frigates, a small squadron of orc fighters manage to get through and are heading towards the marauders. The first obstacle that comes in the raptor's path is a turret circulating around the space hulk, which they must destroy or be destroyed on the way. They manage to take it out, fend off the orc fighters and reach their target which is the gun batteries. Jaeger is massively pissed off that they didn't tell him about this, but then the devil swoops in and gets the glory. It then comes down to the title of this short, that the devils manage to finish the job with acceptable losses which makes Jaeger lose it completely as he lost 15 men on this mission. He is thrown into the brig for, an, uh, for his outburst, but Captain Jacob Carl stops him and shows the caskets of the dead, including the flight commander of the devils, who is the nephew of the admiral of the ship, who sacrificed himself to protect the cruiser. He explained that he didn't get an easy in or out mission. He meets the admiral one last time and realizes that he used to be a raptor pilot prior to becoming admiral and it ends there. So, what did I think about this short story? Well, I think this was a really good one. It has some good characters, even though only three of them are fleshed out fully, but you get a small sense of the crew that is a part of this bomber crew. 
The story is exciting and you sit a little on your nails while you're hoping it to, to go out well. There's a little bit of a cliche of having a stern leader take on a, a gang of undisciplined fighters. But I can look past that I would say since it came out several years ago. I only think that the 8 weeks of them growing as a team that isn't in the story is a missed character development. But as a short story published in Inferno way back in the past I can accept that. This truly shows that Gav Thorpe can write human characters well and I think that he only has a problem with writing space marines. I would give this short story a 8 out of 10 forks. We can end this review with Raptor Down. This one actually has a front cover of its own. On it, we see Marauder Bombers as they fly information into battle. It's made in black and white, but I sure do love the realism of it. I would give it an 8 out of 10 forks. Let's see what this story is all about. The retaking of Meropis is going well for Flight Commander Jax Jaeger's liking. When the tide turns against the Imperium forces, will he follow orders or put his squadron lives on the line to protect the ground troops? 18 months have passed since the previous story. They have been sent to the world of Meropis to fight the alien race of the Noctal. The war seems to lie in their favor, so Flight Commander Jaeger hopes to test their new recruits. During their attack run against military targets, it all goes well until Jaeger manages to, to pick up over 100 ground units that can be devastating towards the ground forces. They make a swift turn and attack the ground units, but it however turns into be equally disastrous for both sides, as the payloads both destroy the enemy ground units, but more or less the entire flight complement are gone. But they probably saved thousands of lives on the ground. It's hard to see the positive outcome despite the losses as they will be court-martialed and might be hanged for it. So, what do I think about this short story? Well, I'm split on this last one. On one hand, it gets you more or less the same as the first story, and I enjoyed that one quite well. But on the other hand, it feels like Jaeger made a stupid decision and it went against his whole character. Even though he saved thousands of lives, I don't think he would have made that decision and that he did with the personality that was set up from the previous story. Like, I would have believed it more if it was a forced move rather than a choice that he had to make. It was a very dark and bleak ending in a true 40k fashion though. With the exception of the choice in the middle of the short story, I think it was a good oriented story. I would give this short story a 7 out of 10 forks and with that I will conclude this book review. Orktober is continuing with a couple of more short videos and reviews, so stay put. Thank you very much for watching this book review. See you around everybody, bye bye!